Hi guys, it's Alicia here with Korean Crafts 83. Um, I just wanted to do a share of a mini album. Oh, I'm sorry, sh shouldn't say mini album. It's a, a 12 by 12 album. Um, and I used a Graphic 45 standing easel, um, like I said, in the 12 by 12 side. So basically, excuse me, messiness. I have some dies in there to kind of hold it up until I can find something permanent for when I display it. But because um, it got kind of heavy. But basically, this is what it is. It's just an easel um, and then it's bound at the top. Um, and it's on the package it said it came with six sheets, but actually there were seven. So I don't know if one was considered a cover or... What not? Um, anyways, I use the Mother Goose by Graphic 45. Um, it's pretty new. Um, but when I seen it, I knew that I just had to do something for my kids in it. So I used the 8x8, the 12x12, the Alpha sticker sheet, the regular sticker sheet, and the chipboard 1. Um, because I couldn't find the chipboard too, or I probably would have used that too. Um, I have quite a few Graphic 45 stacks, um, but it's very hard for me to use them. I don't know if other people have this problem, but they're just so pretty. So anyways, um, but I did use this one, and I am just keep telling myself, don't hoard things, don't hoard things. You buy them to use them and enjoy the things that you make with them. So um, anyways... <laughs> Let's get started. This is the cover page, um, and it's just the first sheet in the package. And you know, Graphic 45, as you all know, does like a scene sheet for the first sheet. Um, and so I use that, and I there's two in the package, so I cut a strip off the second one and laid it um, with the on the the cover to kind of make a complete one. I knew I could have just cut one, um, you know, cut a slit in the main piece, but I wanted it to be a little more durable. So, and then I just have some acetate tags in here um, with some cutout frames and I left it open on the top. Um, I did a lot of fussy cutting on here and um, I am inspired to fussy cut by um, Zanero One, I believe her name is. I know everyone knows who she is. She does amazing work with the Graphic 45 papers and the fussy cutting and it just adds so much to her project. I mean, I'm nowhere to the level that she is, um, but I definitely wanted to get get my feet wet with it and give it a try. Um, so I did attempt a lot of fussy cutting, like this little boy is fussy cut and the baby up here um, and the cow with the moon and stuff and I just um, put them in random places. Um, I did some stickling on her wings and some glossy accent and just some stickling everywhere. This is glossy accented. Um, and then this is a Tim Holtz um, hitch fastener that I put and I fussy cut his wall out and just made a little door and it says my kids names um, and this says childhood memories from the sticker sheet which is a little pull out tag where I'll write them a little note and then it just closes with a magnet. So that's the first page and I um, did some fussy cutting on the flowers and kind of layered them and popped them up. Um, then, you'll have to excuse me, this is going to be kind of hard. Oh, look at my messy area. <laughs> um, this is the second page. I did decide to do front and back because I didn't know how many pages I wanted to do, but I actually only only ended up doing three front and back, and I'm going to leave the other ones in there um, in case I decide to do something else. But honestly, I used I did so much fussy cutting and used a lot of the papers for layering that... Um, I kind of ran out of papers. I mean, I have quite a few left, but um, as far as like the plans that I wanted to do, so I might wait for another collection that I fall in love with and just continue. Um, but for now, I just did three front and back. So anyways, this is the second page. This is the back of the cover, um, and I just did some layering. This is a Martha Stewart puncher on the page. Border sticker, pearls, recollections, flowers have been stickled. This is a Sizzix die. Um, this is from the sticker sheet. Um, this is a recollections butterfly that I stickled, and I call myself trying to sew with the so easy but it's just really not my thing I am not good at things like that I guess so um and then this is just a slider pocket I just put an extra large eyelet in there and it slides in and out and tied some ribbon and stuff on there um, and then I made a belly band with a chipboard piece and a brad and then this just comes out and I fussy cut that and put it on some black cardstock for whatever pictures or whatnot and then this is just a little fussy cut image so, sorry I'm going kind of fast. I'm using my phone like normal, and this one doesn't have very much memory. So, okay, we're toppling a little bit. <laughs> this page, um, I attempted to do like a book type thing. Um, 
since it is a mother goose theme. So I just took a piece of like lightweight chipboard and I covered it with black cardstock and then blue for the inside covers. Um, and it's actually all adhered down. There's just four pages and I adhered the front and back ones down. But you can see it's just, ooh, geez. it's just um, you know different pages with fussy cutting and things. And then I did a bookmark. Um, this is a chipboard piece and a Teresa Collins bobble and you can lift it up and you know kind of put it wherever you want and then I stitched right here these are Tim Holtz distressed on the edge doilies and then just more flower fussy cutting and pop-ups um, okay so on to the next page oh my goodness you're seeing my laundry room and things ah. okay let's act like we didn't I don't know how to edit or I would have <laughs> edited that out anyways this is the next page um, this is a gatefold and I did some invisible pocket type things with some tags on both sides um, a Fisker's grass punch with some border um, I don't think those were the stickers I think those were just the borders out of the paper and then some stamps and I don't know if you can see really well but I laid them down and then I cut the matching one out of another strip and popped them up this is a chipboard piece and I actually have, um, I don't know if it'll, this is big enough, but this is open so I can put a picture in there and then just a little sticker. This is also held with a magnet and when you open it, let's see if I'll be able to do this, there we go. <laughs> when you open it, um, I just did, it says Our Story and I just did some banners there and popped it up. This is another um, like invisible pocket with some bigger tags from the collection. Um, this is a sticker, um, and then I just laid some lace um, on the sides, and then just did some simple mats right here. And then these are left up, so when I put a picture in there, it'll side, kind of look like it's part of the book. So that is that page. I really loved working with this paper. It, it let me know that I really love working with the Graphic 45. I just have to... Oh, tell myself to just cut it and do it. Like, um, what's her name? I think Stuffle Gal. She always says, just cut it and do it and play, ladies. And don't worry, just cut these beautiful papers. And I can hear her voice in my head when I was doing this. So anyways, the next page, just a big photo mat. Um, this is a frame that I cut out one of those um, tags on the, other, the last page. And I just made like a frame out of it and put some fussy cutting and a, a postcard. I backed it and put a, popped up a stamp on there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is like an accordion folder that I did, and it just flips up, and you can see it's accordion. And then each tag in here um, has a fussy cut little title on it, and then I um, just stamped and embossed on the back. And they're all the same except for the title is different. And that closes with a magnet and a little brad and some Michael's flowers and a sticker sheet. It's how does your garden grow? And this one says memories enclosed. Um, another sticker sheet. These are some of the chipboard buttons. I just tied a piece of twine in there um, and popped them up and stuff. So that is that page. And then the last page. Um, oh, jeez. Sorry, you keep seeing my room over there. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> That's our, our utility area and um, water softener and you know, that stuff. Anyways, <laughs> so this is the last page and I did lots of layering with the papers and with doilies and chipboard and then I made these um, rosette flowers and just um, punched these out of a, I think it's a McGill's punch, it's not an EK Success punch, it's a McGill's punch. Put a button in the middle with some twine, sneeze I made, I'm, I just cut strips and scored every quarter of an inch and then did the normal rosette thing because I don't have the rosette die so I just made it myself. Um, and then the this um, these are just papers and doilies. I was kind of glad to use them because I have packages and packages of paper doilies. Um, they sell them at our Dollar Tree, and so I just got them in like all shapes and varieties. And um, I don't use them very much, so glad to get those out. These are popped up, and this is a Martha Stewart punch, and this is a Friskers punch. Um, and then these are just little tags that that pull out, and this is a sticker sheet on that one. Ooh. Hiding it. Oh, okay, I'll fix that later. <laughs> and then um, this one pulls out from back here. And this is a chipboard piece, and I just laid some ribbon with it. And um, that's it. That's what I've done. Just three pages, front and back, pretty simple. Something good to get this book started. And here, I'm sorry, let me try to get this to stand up a little bit better. So, like I said, um, this is the remaining that I have, and it's, this is how they come. Jeez. This is very hard to do. <laughs> 
Um, this is how they come. They're just pieces of craft. And they're actually a little smaller than 12 by 12. I was cutting my background sheets to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and a quarter, which gave it a little border. Um, but they're really, it's really thick craft paper. So I really like those. I kind of want to get another one um, and maybe do like a place and time calendar, which would fit perfectly front and back with six pages and a cover. And um, so we'll see what happens. I do have some place and time, but I've cut some of it up already starting one. So maybe I'll have to get some more in attempt. We'll see, but they're actually very reasonably priced too. Um, I think this one was $9.99. Um, so pretty good for a 12 by 12 easel thing. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the rambling and sorry it went so quick, but I don't have a lot of memory on my phone, so I kind of have to rush. Um, but I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I'm very new to crafting, so any constructive criticism or techniques that you'd like to share, things you've seen that maybe I could do differently or that you do differently or that works better, please let me know. Um, I'm always like to try new things and, um, I guess I could turn this over so you're not looking at a blank thing. <laughs> um, and I really hope everyone's having a great day um, out there. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.